Hey guys, so welcome back. So today I'm going to be filming my February favorites. I know I usually don't film um, a monthly favorites just because sometimes there's nothing new that I've bought or it's been stuff that I've been using for a while that it is like a favorite of mine, but it's nothing new to where I picked up that month or the month before and I've been using it like crazy. But lately, I have been picking up a good amount of stuff to um, try out here and there. So if you want to see what I've been loving for the month of February, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my favorite makeup brushes that I've been using and I've been like obsessed with. The first one is the Morphe 439 brush which is a kabuki like foundation brush. It's very dense, it's rounded, it really packs on the color, also gives you a nice flawless coverage. What I like to do is I like to press the foundation into my skin just so I get a nice full coverage, but also it blends everything nicely. Um, I've really been loving it for my foundation. A couple of these are from Morphe. Another one is the Morphe 215, which is just a very small angled brush. And I've been liking this to fill in my brows with, with, um, powder. It works amazing with powder. This is the brush I use today to fill in my eyebrows and I used powder. It really packs on the color. It's really small so you can create like hair likes right here in the front. It blends the eyeshadow nicely, dense enough to where you can create a nice straight line on your brows if you need to. Really been loving it. It's a favorite of it literally became a favorite of mine. The next one is the Morphe 218, which is a nice, big, fluffy blending brush. It's really soft. It really blends my transition color or my crease color very nicely. You can also use it to blend all the colors out. I did use it today in um, my tutorial, and I have been using it. It's just really nice. The next brush is the Morphe 217 brush which is a nice pointed eyeliner brush. And this is perfect for gel liner. So it's perfect to create a nice sharp wing. It's perfect to get right here since it has a bend to it to get in the inner corner. And it's easy to handle with since it has that curve. I'm loving it for my gel liner and I've been on the hunt for a good eyeliner brush. and. This one takes the cake, must say. So if you've been looking for a good eyeliner brush, I highly recommend checking that one out. And my lighting's getting all weird because now the sun wants to peak. Whatever, moving on. They're Extreme Color Payoff Set and these are from Sigma. It came with six brushes. I'm not gonna go into detail of each and one of them. My thoughts about these, these are amazing. Seriously, Sigma brushes, I would have to say, are the best brushes I have ever used, hands down. It really does give me a, the color payoff that I want, helps me blend my colors nicely. The brushes are soft, they don't shed. They're good quality brushes. That's all I have to say, is they're amazing. It's a good investment. So, I've been loving the Mimi Box I'm Eyebrow Pencil, which just looks like this. And mine's in the color Deep Brown. And it's similar to the Anastasia, the new Brow Definer, in the sense that it has almost the same packaging. It's got the same type of applicator. It's got that slant to it. It's pretty thick. Um, and it also has a spoolie on the other end. It's easier to fill in your eyebrows with. It's easier to create a nice arch with, kind of fill in in the front and all that stuff. Um, 
I really been liking it. It's not it's not that expensive. I think this one was like nine bucks, so it's way cheaper than the Anastasia one. So I guess moving on, we'll do eyes next. So the palette I've been obsessed with that I've been using like nonstop since I got it is my Lorac my Lorac Pro Matte Palette. It just looks like this. Um, it's super compact. It's a little bit bigger than the size of my hand. So you can take this with you when you travel. You can throw it in your purse if you need to do your makeup on the go, whatever. It's just a really nice palette. And these are the colors right here. I have done a couple tutorials using this palette already. I will leave the link down below. The colors are super pigmented, um, super easy to blend. They're just gorgeous colors. They're your everyday colors. You can create a smoky look with this. You can create a very natural look with this. I love this palette. It's perfect. So if you love mattes, um, I highly suggest picking this up. It wasn't that expensive either. So it's a good high-end palette. All right, so moving on to face primer. So the first one is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Um, which fills in fine lines and minimizes the appearance of pores um, Which looks like this I've been loving this primer That's more of like my go-to everyday primer if I when I want to like Minimize the appearance of my pores another one that I'm that hope that also helps to minimize the appearance of my pores and I mainly use this for when I want to take pictures or when I'm doing a photo shoot with my boyfriend and I want my makeup to look flawless, you know? And this one is a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and it is oil free. And I have the sample one because I was trying it out. And hands down, this is just a amazing primer. It's it makes your foundation look flawless, especially in pictures. It blurs out any imperfections that you may have. I cannot go, I cannot do like a photo shoot without this primer. The next one is the Nivea Post Shave Balm in Sensitive. Now I know everybody has seen this. It's been all over YouTube, Instagram. A lot of YouTubers have been talking about it and obsessing over it. And let me just tell you, the hype is real. It's real. The shit is amazing. But yeah, I'm thinking about doing a review on that. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. But yeah, all I got to say is it's bomb. Moving on to foundations. So I have two foundations here that I'm going to talk about that I've been loving. The first one is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in and I'm in the color nude beige so this is it right here I'm sure a lot of you have seen and heard about this foundation and I love it it's a really good foundation it's drugstore it's affordable I've been loving it at first when I first picked it up I wasn't a huge fan of it um, I think mainly because of the primer that I was using and also because of the color when I would wear it, like, it would oxidize on me, so it would look more orange, it would look darker on me, and I was just like, mm, not feeling it. So I finally picked up a color that actually matches me. It doesn't oxidize on me, it just looks beautiful. It is a foundation I am wearing today. So the next one is the Milani Conceal Imperfect. It's a two-in-one, and it mine is in the color Light Beige. It just looks like this. Kathleen Lights talked about it. And this is that's where I heard about it so I decided to pick it up and it's a beautiful foundation it is medium to full coverage it is matte it's very heavy so if you don't like any of that or if you have dry skin you know be careful how you use it you're gonna need a good primer for it the packaging of it it's perfect it's got a pump love it it's very nice slick I love this foundation I've got two blushes. The first one is the CoverGirl blush and I've had it for a while but I've been reaching for it. It's broken. I've been reaching for it like 
crazy the last few months. It gives a nice glow to the skin, especially if you're like doing a no makeup look. This is the one I've been using. The next one is Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amour. I've been using this like crazy in my tutorials because it's a beautiful blush. It gives you a nice hint of uh, color. It has a nice sheen to it, nice glow. It's super pigmented, it blends out beautiful. It is a blush I am wearing today because I'm obsessed. For bronzers, I'm gonna do my cream bronzer first. And this one is the Mimi Box I'm Multi Stick. And it's in Luster Bronzing. The packaging, I love the packaging. Super sleek, all black, matte black. And it is a stick form. It's a beautiful color. It works beautiful on my skin. So that stick swatch right there, it's a gorgeous color. Blends out nicely. It is what I have on today. The next one is my Hoola Benefit bronzer, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen. This bronzer, um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful bronzer. It works better on lighter skin tones. I wouldn't recommend this for deeper skin tones because it would not show up. Mainly use it to warm up and add color to my face. The Milani Baked Bronzer in Soleil, I believe that's how you say it. And this color is just amazing. That's it right there. It It is kind of orangey, but I also use this to add color and to bronze my face. Not to contour because it does have um, a nice glow sheen to it. It's super pigmented. It's gonna be beautiful for the summer. I use it on my no makeup days just to add color. They do have a few colors, so I recommend checking them out. Oh, I forgot about concealer. There's a favorite concealer that I've been loving and I used it up already. So it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm in the color medium. And I literally used it. I finished it this month. So this color is a little dark for my under eyes. So what I would use it for is to add a little bit more coverage. So if there is like a blemish, like redness, blemishes, anything that I wanted to cover before my foundation or after, I would apply it on the areas that I wanted a little bit more coverage. And it's amazing. Super easy to blend. It's not cakey on the skin whatsoever. Two lip products to talk about. Jordana Lip Liner in Rockin' Rose. It's like a mauvey brown, I would say. And it's very close to the color of my lips, so I love it. I'll use this when I just don't feel like wearing a lipstick. I don't feel like adding a lot of color to my lips. So it's been my go-to lip, lip liner. And the next one is this lip color that I am wearing. It's the Rimmel lipstick in one of a kind. And it's this gorgeous deep red color. It's not a bright red, which I really like. It's not matte, so it does have a sheen to it, but it's super hydrating and I like it. It's super pretty. It's gorgeous. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know your favorites of the month or what you've been loving recently. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.